welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are gonna do something a little bit different for me. So typically you know that I tend to lean towards using luxury brands, uh, brands that you can buy at like Alta, Sephora, places like that, just because I, um, that's just what I prefer and it's what I am blessed to be able to afford. I do use some drugstore products, some you know lower cost products, but um, I haven't had to buy like really low cost items since I was, you know, a teenager in high school or even like early, you know, years before I, you know, got married and had a better job and things like that. So I was in the Dollar Tree getting a final few things for my Easter baskets for my kids and I was being safe. I was social distancing. I was wearing a mask and gloves. You know, I was doing everything I was supposed to do. And I went through the makeup aisle at the Dollar Tree and I was like, let's just look because sometimes you can find wet and wild brushes which I love and you know you can find random goodies in there that you wouldn't even expect well I found the brand LA girl and or LA colors excuse me and they had all this makeup so I literally bought an entire face worth of makeup from LA girl and today we are going to try them all out now we're gonna do something a little bit different I'm going to give my opinion on what I expect will happen prior to me applying. So I, you know, this may be a negative video for a lot of you. Maybe some of you really love these products. So I don't mean to offend anybody when I talk about these products, but typically low end makeup doesn't perform as well. So there are gems out there. There are hidden gems out there, but I'm kind of opening myself up to like the hate a little bit, but I, don't have high expectations for today, just based on experience. Um, some of the things I expect, I don't expect a lot of pigmentation, I don't expect long wear, I don't expect an even coverage, um, and I'm gonna get into each product, you know, specifically what I expect, and then I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm proven wrong. And with all the products that I have here, there has to be something that's going to surprise me. Some of these products are marked new. I don't know what they're new. I've never seen them, but you know, I thought we could have a little bit of fun with this. So as we're going along, if you want to comment below a timestamp and what you expect is going to happen before I put it on, I would think that would be a lot of fun. Let's get started. These are a lip scrub and a lip balm by LA Colors. First of all, I love the packaging. Super, super cute. Uh, the lip scrub is in a scent called Fresh and the lip balm is in a scent Pineapple. So they're both the yellow, as you can see, really, really cute. I can see like grainies in that scrub there. So I'm gonna be interested to see what comes of it. I am going to go with the scrub. The first thing that I expect out of the scrub, I expect it to not be as exfoliant as I would like in a lip scrub. I like something that's gonna really get in there and do the job. I'm taking the time to do the extra step. That's what I want. It is not a strong scent. It's fruity, it smells like pineapple, um, it's very faint. So, I don't know. I expect this to be very greasy, like petroleum jelly. If you've ever put any type of petroleum product on your lips, you know, or used it for like your kids or whatever, you know how greasy it is. That's what I expect. It's what I've come to find with lip products. So, I'm gonna stop talking, let's just do it. Very petroleum jelly feeling. Um, I've gone down quite a bit and I am barely hitting scrubbies. Like there's a few in there. It's almost like when you go to the beach and you get a tiny little grain of sand, but it is very like greasy feeling. So if you are um, a person who is prone to breakouts around your lips, this might not be something that you would like no taste it's thick um it's very greasy so it's not it may be great for you if you are you know super dry and you want to like slap something on and go to bed i would think you could do that with this product and it's going to hydrate your lips i've got like one grain of <laughs> exfoliant so exactly what i expected um do i think that there's a place for it in the world yes and it's only a dollar so if you want to try you know, this as like a sleep mask for your lips, I would think that would be a good plan, but 
Now I got this on here, I gotta get it off. Let's go in with the lip balm. The lip balm is supposed to be pineapple scented, as I said, and honestly, I am expecting the exact same consistency as the scrub from this product. A lot stronger scent. It actually has a really nice pineapple scent. It is, you know, untouched, really, really nice little bullet lip balm. I'm gonna bring it back down, um, but I'm expecting that same petroleum jelly feel. I'm expecting that same thickness, but let's find out. Greasy, no flavor. The scent isn't like wafting up my nose and kind of making me nauseous, which is a help, but honestly, I can barely smell it, which maybe that to you is a is a win, but for me, like I wanna be able to smell it a little bit. I don't want it to be overpowering, but if I'm gonna have something scented, I'd like to be able to smell it other than sticking the tube under my nose to smell it. It's very slippy and very greasy. So um, I do not expect that this will stay in place. Like if I were to put this on and then go throughout my day, this is not gonna last on my lips much past 10 or 15 minutes. Now, if you're looking for just something inexpensive to do, do, do and go, you know, maybe this would work for you. Um, but honestly, if I'm gonna hydrate my lips, I would just do the scrub versus the lip balm. Um, but the lip balm definitely smells more than the scrub. So I'm not gonna say these are complete waste of money. Um, they had a whole bunch of other flavors, watermelon, strawberry, raspberry, like a whole bunch of different flavors. So I think that there's a place in the world for them. Um, but they're not like, they're not the most amazing things I've ever tried. So pleasantly surprised they weren't worse than they are. Maybe that's too negative. I don't know. I don't hate it. So moving on, normally now what I would do is I've already prepped my face with what I would normally do, which is basically just my skincare. I do not layer too many layers on my skin. Um, so I don't do primer very often, like hardly ever anymore because I've honestly found it doesn't make that much of a difference. So this is the LA Girl Liquid Makeup and this is in the shade uh, Natural. And this is the fairest shade that they had. So I'm a little worried because this looks a little dark for me, but it could be different. Um, it's not a lot of product. I'm trying to find the ounces on here. It is only 0.42 ounces. But honestly, with travel, this would be really good if this is a good foundation, we don't know yet. Uh, also, I get bored. So if you're the type of person who gets bored really quickly or if you tend to change color a lot, like if you're a self tanner and you change color often, you know, getting your foundations in smaller quantities might not be a bad thing because if you have to oscillate back and forth between different foundations depending on the season or the time of the week or whatever, you know, then you're not spending all the money. But what I'm expecting from this, I'm not expecting a lot of coverage. I'm not expecting, um, I'm not expecting the right shade match. And I'm also kind of expecting it to not have a pleasant scent. Uh, I'm also expecting it to fade very quickly. So he has a lot to live up to. I do love that it has the pump that makes me happy. And for the sake of, I have to film other videos after this, I am actually going to incorporate a little bit of a lighter shade. This shade is way too, this is my Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow and it's way too light for me. So I'm going to add a pump or two to the LA Girl if it doesn't, if it's not the right shade. I'm hoping I won't have to because obviously it's gonna skew the results a little bit, but I don't know what else to do because I can't go around with super dark foundation and I'm not gonna have the time to change my face again. So let's get started. I'm going to, I'm gonna start with just, oh, well, okay. I'm starting with a small pump for now just cause I wanna see the color. I'm also gonna try it with a beauty blender. This is actually a real technique sponge. It's older, so forgive him, he's old. Um, it, the consistency is a lot thicker than I thought. I didn't say anything about the consistency before, but I expected a thinner consistency and you can see it's really clinging on there. So let it, ooh, ooh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. It's pretty, I, I've only done the one little pump. It's gone already. It a little bit does not go a very long way. I can tell you I'm already like seeing it's a little on the orange side, but I think we're gonna go for it. 
And if we have to go in with a little bit of the snow on top, we will do that. But I want, I'm trying to stick with just this foundation because I want it to be a true wear test. definitely too dark which it's not coming across on camera but you know what we're gonna let's let's do it let's do this normally I don't put foundation on my ears but we're blending we're blending we're blending okay so half my face is done let's stop again I've used probably five pumps to do half my face maybe a lot of it is getting absorbed into the beauty sponge scent does not bother me at all. The wet and wild foundation that smells kind of like paint thinner is a lot worse. Uh, but this is not cover as well as the wet and wild foundation. That stuff must have magical in it or something. I'm not sure. But okay, so I'm gonna turn my face this way so you can look at it as I look at myself so I can talk to you. Okay, shade match is clearly wrong. Um, it does cling to different patches on my skin. So if it's in a dry area, it really clings. And if it's in one of my oily areas, because now I am combination skin, <laughs> woohoo, thank you hormones for keeping me on my toes. It's definitely a dewy finish, which is not my favorite, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. Uh, that was not specified on the packaging, but it wouldn't have made a difference. I still would have bought it, like, because it was the only foundation the brand had. So again, I'm gonna go with probably that much, which is a lot of foundation. With my higher end brands, I can use less than that and do my whole face. So you can see the pigmentation isn't there. But here's the thing, if you're on a budget and you're in a pinch and you need a darker shade or two, this might not be a deal breaker. We haven't tested it yet, but it might not be a deal breaker. So let's keep going. So far, I am actually pleasantly surprised. And I'm sorry I'm not staring at the viewfinder at all. I keep looking at myself because I'm trying to formulate my opinion. But okay, let's not get it on my clothes and let's keep going. It's on my face now. I'm kind of done putting it on. I'm kind of like, there's a lot of product on my face. Okay, it hasn't set yet. It is setting, which is another good sign. It's not just gonna sit on top of my skin. Now I'm gonna look at myself and really kind of, I can really see like on my chin where it's just not doing anything. It really is sitting on top of my skin. Um, it's really a mess like now that I'm really looking at it and I'm using my Tati mirror because it's like the best mirror on the market in a palette right now like hands down um, it really is highlighting every texture every bit of texture every um, it really just looks awful <laughs> I really have nothing good to say about it. This is not something that uh, I'm super excited about. Now, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and go in with a little bit of the Too Faced and highlight my face with it um, to try to mask some of this patchiness. And I know it's cheating, but I don't know what else to do because it's too, it's too, um, it's not working for me. And I have to film like I said. Oh boy. I was really excited too. That's the sad part. I was really excited that, you know, we found something, you know, it was gonna work. Now I will say it is blending nicely in with the Too Faced, uh, with the Too Faced foundation, the color I'm getting is a bit better. Now keep in mind, yes, I'm washed out. I have no other color on my face. So I look paler than I actually am. Again, this light is really not showing the true color that well. Let me just get it on here and then I'll talk to you. I definitely have a lot more coverage now. Everything is blended a lot better into the skin now. Thank God. Um, doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of my skin anymore. It actually looks like my skin. I do not have perfect skin. I do not aim to have, I mean, I do the best I can. My skin is just a little wonky right now um, for reasons I'm not gonna get into, no, not bad health reasons, just my body is adjusting. So 
um, it's adjusting to the new normal of not being pregnant. I've been pregnant for the last 10 years. So my hormones have kind of done this because it's trying to adjust to not being pregnant because I have, you know, I have five kids. So it's, it's just different. Um, so I've been breaking out like a teenager and my skin's all textured and I can't see a derm right now because of what's going on. It's just a mess. But anyways, I like this a lot more now that A, it's better shade match. Um, and I didn't, you can, when, as you watch, I didn't take it the full way out. I just focused on the center of my face. And yeah, I kind of did a light dab, but I didn't really like go ham on the whole face. So I think I will continue to use this because it balanced out this foundation. So that's a win. I'm actually really happy about that. I'm actually gonna be able to finish this expensive foundation because I bought this correct, like this darker shade that I can mix the two and actually use the product. So that's really exciting for me. Um, so yay, that, I'm glad that that turned into something positive. I'm sorry we couldn't do a full $1 face of makeup, um, like a true $1 face of makeup, but it's okay. Moving on to Mm, well, I bought a contour stick. I'm afraid of him. I also bought a powder. So let's talk about the two because I can't powder until after I've contoured because you can't put a cream or liquid product over a powder product. It's just a cardinal rule of makeup. It just, whatever, ha it just doesn't work out usually. So I'm gonna have to contour with my contour stick first. And this is in the shade medium, which is pretty dark again uh, but it was the only shade that they had so I'm gonna do a light contour with this um, it is actually not as greasy as I thought I expected this to be like putting a wax crayon on my face which it pleasantly was not but I do see some skipping it's some patchiness but my hand is dry so we can't blame it on the product fully and then the powder I bought. So in the package, this looked like your standard black compact. And then I opened it and you guys, like, I know it was only a dollar. This is the cheapest compact. My sponge is like stuck to the mirror now. This is the cheapest compact I have ever seen in my life. It doesn't even line up. It's the cheapest plastic ever. Um, it is like a sample. It's like when you get a deluxe sample and it comes in that really chintzy plastic, which it's a sample, it's okay. <laughs> so, but it is a large pan of powder. It doesn't look like a very thick pan of powder, but it was a dollar. So just keep in mind, I could not travel with this. It doesn't even snap really. It just kind of, this little lip like sticks under there and it doesn't even line up all the way. It's gappy. You could never travel with this. You could never safely take this around in a cosmetic bag. So keep that in mind. Um, but we're gonna test this powder out. But first we're gonna contour with the contour stick. Oh, it is a uh, twist top thing. Let me find my contour brush. Uh, the one thing I do know about cream contours is when you are using them is to work in sections. I've seen some people just draw it all over their face and then go back and blend. I find that to be a little dangerous. You gotta work really quick when you do that because once this stuff starts to set, there's no moving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the bottom of my cheekbone because that's where your contour is supposed to be. And I'm just gonna very lightly draw a line which I hope I got that good because I'm looking in the viewfinder and not a mirror. This California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me. It's just something about the way that he's making me feel. My insides are out, I just wanna shout. That actually went a lot better than I expected. Let's do the rest of our face quick and then talk about it. Okay. I wanna run up through his hair, but I'm trying not to stare. Mm -mm. I get a little closer. I feel like that did a actually a decent job. Um, I don't expect it to last. It really blended away pretty easily. Um, I don't expect it to stay on there any amount of time. Um, if you know anything about me, if you've watched any of my videos before, my skin absorbs things. I don't know what it is, but like if it ever looks like I'm going so heavy on blush color, it's because 
within 15, 20 minutes, it really fades. You can even watch videos where I've just applied my makeup and then got on the camera, and by the end of the video, it's basically gone again. Like, it's very faint. It's like a phenomenon, I don't know. And it's all brands, it's not like an expensive brands, you know, expensive brands, it's like all brands. So I'm gonna do, I just wanna try a little of this. Hmm. Well, I don't hate this. Um, I think I'm going to keep him in my arsenal. Actually, this is probably my favorite product so far. That's actually saying something because uh, I don't typically like contour sticks, but this actually did pretty good. Let's test out that longevity though. We're going to set him to the side and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the powder now and sit my face. Does it do the job? Yes. Um, it doesn't look bad. I don't hate it. I hate the packaging. Like that's useless. Um, so if you plan to take it anywhere, you're gonna have to re you're gonna have to put it into a Z pack or something or a Z pal a Z pack. Jesus, a Z palette. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah. Hmm. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit cakey, cakier than I like to be. Uh, I don't feel as set as I like to be after I do my powder. There's definitely better products out there, but is this bad? No. Um, and like I said before, my skin is textured and funny right now. So if you are, especially if you're younger, here's the thing, you younger girls, like, you can put anything on that baby skin of yours and it's going to sit beautifully because you don't have emphasized pores, you don't have wrinkles, you don't have fine lines, you're just perfect face uh, and you probably don't even need foundation and powder. But you can get away with things that texturize skin with people who have, you know, mature skin or hormonal skin or people who are starting to show beginning signs of aging, things like that. So yeah. Is it the worst thing I've ever seen? No, not at all. Um, but it's not my favorite, so that's okay. We're gonna keep on rolling down the highway here. I've got several colors of blush. I'm gonna pull them out. Actually, I only bought three. Uh, the one I'm most interested to try is this one, and it is in the shade Peach Rose. I love these little compacts. They are really nice, and this is very glittery, but I love me some glitter. They do come with these chintzy little brushes that are useless, but they're a nice, firm, sturdy plastic. I picked up this light, light shade, and I picked up this other shade. This one is called Spice. So I wasn't really sure what I was gonna like. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with Spice. Let's swatchy swatchy here real quick. Oh yeah, these are pretty chalky, and that's pretty fair. Like, you could barely see it. So I'll probably give this one to my daughter because that's just not gonna be anything for me, and she likes to practice and play with makeup. Um, let's do spice first. I am, oh, I never even talked about what I expected from the last powder product. I didn't expect it to look as decent as it did. I expected it to be a lot more powdery and a lot more cakey, but you know, it did pretty good. This, I do not expect to be very pigmented. I do not expect it to make a nice flawless finish. Um, and I expect it to disappear within minutes. So let's see if I can be pleasantly surprised. color. Well, I was wrong about pigmentation. I will say uh, it did have like an overlay, like a like a glitter um, cast on it because now that I've used the top layer, it's not nearly as sparkly and shiny, um, which a lot of blushes do that. Even high-end blushes will do that. So that's not a deal breaker for me. Um, I don't know. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. We're going to see the longevity. Let's pop open the glittery one. I bet you this is a spray on top to make it that glittery, but let's, let's give it a whirl here and just add it on. I went ahead and did my brows off camera. Um, my blush is a little patchy, but I think that's cause or like a little not blended very well. But I think it's because the foundation is still kind of sitting like it's not as finish as I would like so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it we're just gonna roll with it like I said 
it looks like a lot of blush, it will fade. Uh, I went ahead and did my brows off camera to save you from that nonsense, but I didn't have LA Colors or Dollar Tree brow products. They just didn't have anything. The only thing they had was black and it was literally like black. So that's not going to work for me. Um, but I do have my brow pencil that I use is LA Girl. I get it at Ulta and I think it's $3.99. So it's still a very affordable. And then I do use the Brow Gal um, gel and this is the light hair gel and I got it in a boxy charm or a nipsy bag and it's standard. It does the job. The reason why I use such a light color is because once I go in with the pencil, I like to kind of highlight my brows with a lighter gel and kind of give it a little bit more dimension so it's not so flat. Uh, and I do it very lightly, so that's what I did on my brows. And my brows are never nice, so you'll just have to get used to it. <laughs> I've come to accept that I have zero talent when it comes to my eyebrows, and we just roll with it. The palette that I have today is, again, from LA Colors, and this is the Eyeshadow Nude Palette. I have not opened this, and this is the traditional. It says traditional shade on the back. Take off this little doopy doo there. And, oh, oh, okay, hi. Hello. There we go, okay. Open it up, it does have this little doobie on top. It has this cheapy little thing that I, that, this is how I used to always do my eyeshadow, like up until maybe five years ago. Um, and here are the colors. They are not bad. Uh, they're pretty standard. It looks like there are one, two mattes and the rest are satin finishes, which we can work with that. They are not overly dark. They are not overly bright and wow. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick eye look, let you watch, give you some insights. I'm not gonna sit here and swatch all the colors because I, I just don't think that's necessary. What I expect from this, I expect patchiness. I expect trouble blending. I expect the colors to brush away. Um, I am not expecting uh, a bold eye look and I am expecting this to fade within a couple of hours. So <laughs> let's see, the pessimism is strong. Uh, I am not I am not a big fan of Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I think most of them are not very good. And I know there are a few gems out there like any brand, but they're mostly not very good. So that's why I have very low expectations for Dollar Tree makeup. But let's see, let's see what we can't uh, get done. Like All right, well, one color in, you saw kind of how I had to go and go and go and go and go, which honestly, I didn't go and go and go any more than any other eyeshadow that I use, but I'm gonna go ahead and point some things out to you. This is supposed to be this shade. Oh my gosh, this palette. Don't shut it. It's got the jaws of life. Well, at least you know it's not gonna be popping open and wrecking your makeup bag. Okay. Gosh. Woo. Okay. It's supposed to be this tan brown color here. It's supposed to be just a pure brown, just a basic tan. I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay. So as I'm using it, the, you can see how kind of patchy it is through here and through in here. Um, I can't get it to not. It's a little better on this side, but not by much. And it's almost mauve looking. Like, I don't know. I found that to be a little strange that it was so mauve looking. I'm cleaning my brush off so that I can go in with another shade. I like to use the same brush because there's a little bit darker brown here. So I'm hoping to deepen the crease with this darker brown matte. I will show it to you. Okay, so you can see my brush is clean. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shade I'm gonna go in with next. And it's really not too different than this one. Uh, a little bit more cool tone, but we're gonna go in and see if we can't darken it up a little bit. This deep shade right here, like the best shade in the palette. And I'm gonna take that into the crease or the outer V area. It's like it turns into the same color. <laughs> Every time I put it on my face, it turns into the same color. What is happening? Let's try the other side. Oh God. This is just not my day. All right. It's 
turning into the same color no matter what I've done three different shades and it all looks the exact same does it look like the worst thing on the planet no but three shades should not look the exact same um okay i'm gonna go ahead and do my finger i'm going to go ahead and go with like this color right here which is a nice kind of brown gold type shade looks like that on the finger i'm gonna do that with my finger on the lid Well, we got a little bit of variety. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and kind of try to highlight with it um, with my finger. I, I, I don't know at this point. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get another brush. I'm gonna do my, um, I'm gonna do this white color, which I may regret, and I'm going to do my raw bone. Yeah, I pretty well regret that. <laughs> oh my god. What is this stuff? Oh. Oh, God. It looks very, like, oh, well, iridescent and bright. Um, I gotta do my waterline, my under eye. Um, every time I go into this, I feel like I'm taking my life into my hands. Maybe that's dramatic, but I think the fact that I have to film another video is kind of looming over me, like, ooh. All right, let's go in with this color. We haven't tried it yet. Even though they're all pretty much the same, we're still gonna try it. Oh, yes. It's the same color, even though it's this one. The well, same exact color. Very little variation. All right, I'm done. Okay, it is what it is. Okay. So I used, let's talk about how many shades. I used this shade, I used this shade, I used this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade. And they all look relatively the same. I mean, yeah, we did, we were able to get a little dimension. It's not the worst eye look on the planet, but it's not great. Uh, that one's gonna be going to the kids. I have a, we are coming down to the end here. I have two mascaras because if you know me, you know that I do a double mascara every day. So I bought two and I have a eye marker. This was marked as new. This is in the brown shade. I wanted black, but I got brown. And that is the pen and, uh, well, not bad. I do not know how I'm going to film this and hold the mirror and do all the things. I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, do the liner, spray the setting spray on my face, and then we'll do the mascara and maybe wrap this video up sometime this century. I went ahead and applied some lip color. I did not get a lip color because they just did not have any, but I did use a Wet n Wild. This is the Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Petal Prison. I really like this stuff, but again, very affordable. I think it's $4.99, so we're keeping with the theme here of affordable. I aligned my eye with just a basic black liner on the bottom, but the top is the brown. This is very wet. It is very pigmented uh, and it stays kind of on the shiny side, which I'm not mad at that. Uh, I actually really like this. This was a huge, hugely pleasant surprise for me. Now, I will say this, I don't know what is in here because I felt this very faint burning sensation very faint uh not burning like oh my gosh my eyes my eyes but just i could tell it was there so i don't know if it's a high alcohol content that kind of burned off and i was like feeling the eye you know feeling the you know the fumes around my eyes because i have very sensitive eyes so just be aware of that be careful if you are prone to having issues with liner products but i am going to go back and get the black that's how much I like this a lot. I might even buy a backup. So that one just went right into my like everyday makeup dude that I keep. Like 
he's gonna be a staple, I can tell. Very pleasantly surprised that. So last, but certainly, certainly not least, is the mascara. There are two different ones here, um, or they're not, they're both the exact same. They are, they're both the exact same. Why did I buy two? Oh, they're not the exact same. They are nearly the exact same. Okay, so the exact same packaging, they both say, volumizing length and definition and then vo oh, oh my God. I guess I should read volumizing lift and volume so let's look at the brushes I have not even opened these crack these open they're both in black hmm. okay here is my nylon brush that I typically like and my other brush so we're gonna start with him, which is the lift in volume, and then we're going with the length and definition second. I am praying to God this is not bad because mascara can really make or break a look. So let us pray. You know, I do one eye at a time, and ultimately, it did barely anything. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. Let's go in with the length and definition. Okay, that did more, but it's still like not. I like it for my bottom lash, but oh boy. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, Thrive, save us, Thrive. I have to film another video, as I've said 800 times, I have to have lashes looking like a lash presence. Oh. Yes, I'm aware this is my third mascara. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna bench those players. Holy crap, that was bad. Okay, let's go in. I'm gonna go in with my big ego from Tarte. We're gonna do one eye the way I would normally and then compare it to the sad eye. The sad eye. He's getting dry. I think he's lived his life. I'm just having a bad mascara day all the way around. Uh, we need to officially wrap this up. Okay. <laughs> There's no helping us today. So here it is. Here is the completed look. Um, the face is not horrible. It's not my favorite. Uh, I definitely am shinier than I like. I think that's definitely because it's a satin finish foundation. Uh, I think I would definitely mix the two before I would just apply it to my face. I think we got a lot of shimmer going on the cheeks, but again, I really am pleasantly surprised with the contour stick. That seems to be the major winner out of the group today. If I were going to reach for anything again, it's going to be the liquid, the liquid eyeliner and the contour stick. Go figure. Uh, two products that I actually don't typically really like that much, um, to be completely candid with you. I will probably finish off the powder just because, like I said, it's very standard. But I, I don't know. Um, I think that there's a place in the world for all these products. I definitely came out looking a lot better than I anticipated. But I did have to reach for some of my other like old standbys to get the job done. So sound off below. I cannot wait to go back and read your comments and see what you think, what you thought as I was applying them. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. You can also follow me over on Instagram, which I'm sure I've already flashed my Instagram handle on the screen for you. And also look forward to some reseller content coming soon because that's what I'm going to be filming next. You guys are used to seeing this face of makeup because it's not going away for the next three videos. I guess that's what I'm doing today. I'm batch filming my life away. So I hope that you all are safe, healthy, and having a wonderful April. And I will see you all in my next video. I'll talk to you now. Bye.